på tid. Ja. Started out not a thing. What you did, I never thought of. Let me think about it. It only takes 21 days to start a habit. So this summer, let's start by creating good habits that are going to carry on throughout the rest of not only the year, but just continue out in our lives. Habits, like I said, take 21 days to form, which isn't a very long time if you think about it. So let's start this. My first tip is to change your mindset. So that's going from negative to positive. We always tell ourselves that we want to have less of something. For example, eat less sugar or lose weight. But instead you want to change your mindset to telling yourself that you want to have more. Maybe you want to eat more fruits and nuts and maybe you want to gain health instead of losing something. Hydration is super key. So our bodies are made up of 60% water. So when you're dehydrated, your body just doesn't function properly. I love carrying a water bottle with me everywhere. I'm super obsessed with this one right now. But I also know that a lot of people don't like drinking water. So a way to spice it up a bit is getting one of these water bottles and filling it with fruits and veggies. One of my favorite ones when I first started drinking water was to do this one, which is strawberries, blueberries, and mint. Another one is cucumber, lemon, and mint. So just experiment and find what you think makes water taste good. And so basically you're going to want to refrigerate this for one to two hours just to let the berries steep into the water. Next my tip is to stay organized and inspired. So for some reason I wanted to show you that this journal is from Moleskin, but basically keeping calendar or some sort of tracking device of when things are going on helps you stay super organized and it'll keep you on track. Also I suggest finding new websites and just ways where you can find recipes and inspiration to keep your healthy eating and your exercising going, keeping lists, all that sort of stuff just helps keep you on track for your goals. Next, my tip is add some supplements. So I don't mean go crazy on protein powder, but just making sure you're getting all your essential vitamins and nutrients into your body. So taking extra of whatever you may need. I also love drinking matcha green tea. This one's just from Tivana. It not only detoxifies your body, but it has a lot of antioxidants that are just super good for you. Green tea is just super good for you in general. It boosts your metabolism. So if you're looking for not only a little bit of caffeine, but something to help boost, your metabolism, drink green tea. I swear it is the best thing out there. I absolutely love it. Next would be making things at home. Not only do you know what's in it, but you can help control the portion sizes. So breakfast is supposed to be the largest meal of the day, lunch medium, and dinner your smallest. Go grocery shopping and just pick out natural foods. Not only will it taste better, but it will make you feel better in the end. So this is just a recipe that I enjoyed making. I'm showing it to you guys. It is this one pot red curry and noodles. So I'm gonna have the ingredients up on the screen for you guys so you can follow along. It was super easy to make, it tastes super good, and it's healthy. making your own food is meal prepping. So this in essence is just being able to have healthy meals around all the time. Then you're not tempted to go out and buy junk food. So if you have healthy meals and snacks around, then yeah, it'll just help you stay on track even more. Another meal prepping meal would be overnight oats. These are super easy to make. They can stay in the fridge for up to three days. And this is just my recipe here with the ingredients. Honestly, it's super easy, it tastes good, you can add fresh fruit, and yeah, it's just super yummy. When you're all 
all done, you're just gonna want to shake it up and then let it refrigerate for at least 24 hours so that the oats can all expand. This last tip is probably the most obvious of them all, but it's exercising. So I want you guys to get off your phones this summer, go outside, maybe your goal is to go for a walk every day. But basically just find something new or maybe something old that you enjoy doing to get a little bit of exercise every day. I know that the gym is not for everyone. Personally, I love it. I love being able to go and lift weights. But another great thing that I know a lot of people have been kind of going crazy over lately is spin cycle classes. So if you don't know where to start, I suggest trying out one of these classes just to get you going. But yeah, just find something, some sort of exercise that you love this summer. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please let me know. I know these tips were kind of just a bit of like an overview and if you want me to do a more in depth, like how to start a healthy lifestyle and how to keep a healthy lifestyle kind of going, I would like to do that as well. Just more of a talking video rather than a short kind of aesthetic video. But I still hope you guys enjoyed. I love you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.